Hey guys, um, so as you saw, I got my tongue split about a week and a half ago. Um, it's been doing really well, and I'll start from the top with, you know, the whole process. Um, I had my tongue pierced, um, I started to do a two gauge, and I had that two gauge in for about, like, five months, almost six months. So, it was like one, like, it was like spur of the moment, I'm, like, one day I was just like, get my tongue split on Saturday. And that was it. Um, so I went to go see Dom. And if you see in the video, um, he was injecting my tongue with um, with stuff. Um, it was lidocaine. And you like you should have saw my face light up when I found out he could he could numb it. I was like, you can do that? Like really? <laughs> so um, I did get it numbed um, during the. Cutting, I didn't really feel anything it was just a lot of pressure and it, it was really uncomfortable but I'm sure it would have felt worse without it um, that first night was terrible because at that point the lighting cane had completely worn off and my tongue fucking killed I like I like seriously I was starting to doubt myself and like, just like thinking what the fuck did I do like I was just like rocking just like just praying that it would stop it it was it was horrible um I didn't sleep with gauze in between it that first night um just cause it would get soaked up with spit and it would be disgusting and I'm like you know fuck this so that next morning I woke up my tongue was completely fused back together and I had to rip it back apart. Like, I just had to take the two pieces and just, just like, just rip. And it made like a popping, disgusting popping noise and it started bleeding and I was like, oh shit. And, um, you know, since then I didn't have to do it anymore, which was good. Um, <clears throat> that next morning also I took, I started taking ibuprofen because I couldn't take it the day of just because drinking water even hurt and so I couldn't you know I couldn't even take any pills or anything so that next morning I took some ibuprofen and that that whole week I was taking ibuprofen like the limit that I could take for one day like I was taking like six a day just to keep the pain under control um but I was eating just fine um it was it's been the healing process has been a lot better than with my tongue piercing um, so that, that, and that was, you know, that was good. Um, pretty much now, it's, it's mostly healed now. Um, of course not fully, but it's, you know, I don't have any pain anymore. I was lisping more than I usually do with it, so that's gone now. Um, it's feeling really good, and I'm like, I'm just so proud to have it. It's, it's something I've wanted for years and to finally have it, it's like oh you know like I'm just I'm just so super proud of it um so I'll show you guys um I'm still you know learning how to do tricks and stuff but for the most part that's what I can do now I'm working on the, the crossy thing. I can do it. I can put the right one over the left, but putting the left one over the right is hard. Um, but you know, I'm, you know, fine tuning it every day. So, I'll get there. Um, also, Joe finished making my Spongebob jewelry box. Um, but I haven't gotten it yet just because I wanted a personal handoff. I want him to hand it to me. Um, I thought it was only fair that he gets to see my reaction in person, which my reaction is probably going to be really over the top, outrageous. <laughs> um, so I thought it was only fair that he gets to see it. So whenever the next time we hang out, he's going to give me the box, and I'm going to lose my marbles all over the place. So um, that's about it, and I'll I'll see you guys later. <laughs>